Hi everyone, welcome to our channel and our new series called NS Nail Advice, where the viewers send me pictures of their nails and I try to help them to understand what's going on with her nails and try to give them advice how to take care of them, how to make them better. So in today's episodes, we are going to talk about nail damage. And there is something going on with these poor nails. So we are going to look at a few pictures and we're going to see what the viewer was um, experiencing. And thank you so much for sending me all the pictures. And please remember when you are emailing them, send me the best resolution, like the best quality possible, because this way I can zoom in the, the picture and see what's going on. So here is her story. I had seen the Plexigel on them, on her nails, which was a huge mistake as I only wanted it on my thumb nails to help the side walls grow up and out. But the salon convinced me to do all my nails, even though they were all pretty good, but not strong naturally. Number two, she didn't want such a thick coating. She didn't want the expense and her other nails were okay. Not in a great condition, but in pretty good condition. And she also has a huge stash of nail polish and really prefers to paint her own nails twice a week. So this um, situation happened in January. So now we have since, so she had it on for 10 days only and she's been nursing the nails since February 8th. So let's see how the nails are. Okay, so these are the thumbs, which are first of all concerning. So I don't understand um, what's going on here, but I see a problem here. So I don't know what she meant by extending the sidewalls because the sidewalls are here and they're pretty extended. They're, they're not really high or anything. Um, maybe she meant this. So this is actually free edge. So where the sidewall ends, the attached part of the nail um, ends and then the, the free edge starts. That's a free edge here. So I don't know if she was trying to um, regrow this area. So this is lifted and it could be lifted for a few reasons, for many reasons, usually it's due to trauma. So I don't know if this has happened after the removal because that would suggest that this is from trauma or this could have happened before somehow and that's what she was trying to correct during the appointment. So January, she had it on February. So February, March, April, Oh, it's only like a month and a half, right? So in two weeks, you would have this much growth. In a month, you would have this much growth. Let's see that probably they have grown out to here. You would have the new growth. So in order for the healthy nail to grow out, it's going to, you always look at the ends and you're going to look at where the damage ends and then you count it. So let's look at the other nails. Maybe they'll give us more clues. And you see how amazing this picture is? Because initially she sent me, um, this picture. And as you can see, when I zoom in, I can't really see much, right? So, okay, this is a very good picture. We will use this one. But there was a picture of her nails yeah, you see here, quite blurry. So when I zoom in, I really can't see the texture. I can't see what's going on. It's not very helpful, but thankfully she sent me this picture and that's great. So thank you so much for sending me this picture. And okay, let's look at your nails. See how nicely I can see everything. Okay, first of all, the shape of your nails is amazing. So what a beautiful, beautiful nails. Um, see, nice straight sidewalls beautiful skin around her nails look at this very very nice not cut perfect but yes there's some damage and the pinky is a little bit concerning so the the healthy nail looks like it's here already so it's grown out quite a bit or it was never damaged to, to begin with but this part is quite damaged you can see this variation in color this can actually separate sometimes very sadly um, from from the from the damage because this nail plate here is very very thin so let's see here this damage ends here so 
usually in a month the nails grow this much so this is going to be a month two months i would say three months so right now is what day do we have april 13th may june july so they're going to take a while actually it's even higher a little bit here so three months at least until the nails grow out so you have to have a lot of patience with this damage and this is the sad part is that you do you know something to your nails once and you think oh i only had it on for 10 days or something but this whole nail now it's affected well let's say from here down this whole nail is affected and the nail is not growing from the bottom up so it cannot re grow that way it's growing from here from the matrix area so this is going to take a long time to grow out so i'll keep the nails a little bit shorter there was um quite a lot of over filed areas here and it's just sad you know because um in a salon um they should try to kind of help your nails and not damage them and a lot of times people just kind of go um on autopilot and they just say no no all the nails have to be done which they so, well, sometimes they don't and yeah her other nails probably were okay so now we have this situation all right so there's another thing that i wanted to comment on that she has uh cnd rescue oil and cnd rescue so the cnd rescue rx x is not an oil it's a emulsion actually so it's a mixture of oil and water and it's actually a very interesting product it has some ingredients that will bond to the surface of the nail kind of um, helping it to um, be stronger and to retain moisture in the nail the keratin doesn't really do anything to the nails i know that they you know marketers they advertise the keratin products but keratin's molecules are way too big to even get absorbed into anything so the role of keratin is more of moisturizing than anything else so it's not that special when you think about it because there are a lot of moisturizing ingredients out there and you know just like i mentioned before in order to grow muscles you have to grow them from within it doesn't matter you, you can rub a chicken breast on your thigh but you're not or on your butt <laughs> but you're not gonna um, grow a nice bum or a nice legs or anything like that so same thing with applying oil it's not going to make you gain weight or fat same thing with keratin applying keratin on the nail is not going to replace the damaged keratin on the nail so it's just healthy nail has to grow out and this is you know sadly the truth and it just takes time so but the nails are so weak and bendy that i need to cover them with few layers of polish so the cnd rescue rx i really like the product and it's great for people that choose not to wear nail polish because sometimes nail polish can do more damage than good and the cnd rescue rx should be used on the naked nail so it's also um, very useful if you are taking a break between the nail polish for like even one day i think that would be a good idea to apply i always say that taking a, a day break between nail polishing is a good idea especially if you're having issues if your nails are super strong and fine then that's okay and i had few people mention that when they take nail polish off the nails start to peel but i kind of wonder if the peeling was already there underneath the polish it's just when they take the polish off the nail dries out and the peeling is more visible so the uh, rescue rx definitely recommended for her condition of the nails and if she wants some product to cover the nails because they feel they hurt because they are the the nail bed is almost practically exposed so i would recommend and i know i'm talking about dazzle dry a lot but i have personal experience with that when i took my gel polish off and my nails just felt uh sensitive so i know nails are dead but basically i could feel not that they were that damaged but i could feel the difference and they were not very comfortable so i actually wore dazzle dry base coat two layers of base coat and a top coat or even one base coat and one top coat the reason why i recommend dazzle dry is because it's very very gentle on the natural nails it's still nail polish people can still get some damage some surface damage because after all it's a product that bonds quite well to the nails but normally in majority of my clients 
they see very, very good results with the Dazzle Dry. Sometimes their nails are actually better than they were bef like that they were naturally. So I highly recommend that combination. And you know what? It just, I don't know what it is, but it kind of makes the nails a little bit harder and they just feel much better. But I would still keep them pretty short so you, so you, ha you have no bend on the nails. The only thing that I am concerned is the thumbs, the poor thumbs, the, the nails are fine. So we're on the nails, but you know, okay, so what's going on here? Um, first of all, when this separation happens, there was no way of fixing it. There was no way of gluing it back, right? So um, nail polish application, wearing nail polish, increases the hydration of your nail. So there is more hydration on the, in the plate and under the plate, the nail plate. So, and that's the problem because this is not a perfect environment for a healthy nail kind of reattachment. Uh, and I'm talking from experience because this exactly thing happened to me. I took uh, gel polish off and my nail had separated. I picked it off and then I was like playing with this picked part because it was flexible. So I caused it. This is exactly what happened. And of course, you know, I was stubborn. That was like, I don't know, 20 years ago, probably. I didn't know any better. And I figured, well, if I just keep it short with the nail, it's going to kind of be covered. It didn't go over very well. I developed a bit of a greenish, and this is what looks like a little bit of greenish area. And that suggests bacterial infection. So usually it's called a pseudonoma bacteria, and it grows in very moist environments and dark environment without oxygen. So this could happen, and this happens very often with nails. So what I would do, I would absolutely not wear nail polish on these nails, um, especially on this one. And what I would do is I would just clip this part as short as you can, even a little bit here without um, kind of trying not to affect the nail bed underneath. So don't pick on the, on the nail. It, eventually at first is, it's going to be soft, but with the air, that area underneath the nail, so the nail, the exposed nail bed is going to harden a little bit. Yes, it's gonna look ugly, uh, I, I, I won't lie, but in my opinion, in my experience, this is the only way to grow out that area. So just keep it short and just keep it, the, the white part, as short as possible. And you will see, actually, I put a picture on my Instagram probably three days ago and I asked the question, I'm like, what's the difference between these nails? Is I took polish off and my nails were like the free edges. The white part was almost clear because it was very, very hydrated. And then I took polish off and the next day they were white, white, white. And this indicates that, you know, as much as they say the nail polish is kind of like hydrating polishes or something, yeah, but that's not really helping your nails that much, it actually can cause more harm than good, the buildup of moisture underneath. So that's not really uh, what we want. The nails need more lipids, they need more oil than water because once you replace the lipids, the water may, um, the moisture level, it's going to get balanced. So what happens with oil, it's going to allow enough moisture as, as much as you need and it's going to prevent evaporation of the moisture as much as you need. So it's going to leave this perfect balance of moisture and oil in the nail. This is concerning me a little bit, like I said, and this has a little crack, so I would definitely just, so you don't get a more snag, um, I would shorten it, but this one is fine for nail polish um, application. And the good news is that whenever your nail is um, hurt or there is, a, uh, there is a damage, it will grow out faster, that will actually make the nail grow faster. So the um, Rescue RX should be fine on the nail because again, it's it's not going to um, increase excessively the moisture level in the nail. Um, jojoba oil, any um, type of oil also would be good on top of it. Carousel would be very good too because it has urea, it has salicylic acid, which is an anti-inflammatory. So that would be a good idea to just rub in the, the skin around the nails and the nail as well if it's exposed and i think that that would be it if you could um send me a picture of, sorry if you could just send me more information about this area and let me know if this has happened before the gel application and removal or this was the reason why you applied the gel in the first place that would be very interesting for me to know and please 
um, send me some follow-up pictures in a, in a month or two if, if you see any difference. It would be absolutely awesome because I know a lot of people that are watching the channel are also interested in how the progress is going. So I think that would be very interesting for all of us. And I really care. I really, I'm really curious because um, as you can as you can see, I put my heart into this work and it's great to see when you guys are replying with, with good news that uh, whatever I'm doing is helping you. So this is absolutely awesome. So th thank you so much again for sending me the pictures and thank you so much guys for watching the videos and we'll see you soon in the next video. And if you're sending me the pictures, please make sure, again, I'm going to repeat great resolution and there was a video which I'm going to link in the description with a quick um, little lesson how to take pictures of the nails and in the subject if you can put NS nail advice because we're getting a lot of emails so by the way also I'm really sorry if I'm not able to respond to all your pictures as soon as I would like but I'm doing my best so please have a little bit of patience and I will definitely get to your pictures okay thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon bye, bye.